Hello, this is Douglas. In my last video for Healthy Place, I want to thank you very much for watching me over the last eight months with my vlogs that didn't appear every month. I had a spell there in the summer where I wasn't able to do some videos. But, well, the truth is, I was supposed to have done this video yesterday and was so caught up writing my last article, I completely forgot about it. I didn't realize until I don't know, this afternoon, I thought, oh no, I forgot. So, <laughs> a little anticlimactic, I guess. So I was thinking, what on earth am I going to do? I thought, you know, originally I was going to do this video and include it in my last article. So I would have two sound clips, and I would have the video, and it would be immediate extravaganza. And I kind of forgot what I was doing. So, what am I going to do? Okay, I've got an idea. I'll tell you something that happened to me yesterday. Uh, I've spoken before about hyperfocus, and uh, sometimes I really, I can get funnel visioned, I call it. I mean, I really have no idea what else is going on around me. <sighs> so it's kind of embarrassing. I was reading this story by Hans Christian Andersen called The Flower Garden and the Woman Who Could Conjure. Uh, apparently it was a story within the Snow Queen. Now, at the time, I didn't realize that I was just reading this amazing story, and I thought I'd share it with my daughter. Uh, my 11-year-old fancies that she's going to grow up to be an author uh, like me, and and like I fancy that I will grow up to be an author. Yeah, that's my point. So, I was trying to share this with her because I thought the imagery was vivid. It was surprisingly modern for something that was written so long ago, and I uh, told her about it, and I pulled out my Hans Christian Andersen book, you know, this really big thing. I've had this for years and have not read it to her. So she was amazed, her eyes, whoa, look at all of those stories. And I just sat down and I thought, well, I'll just show you this story. I'll read it right from the book. And I could not find it. I went through the entire table of contents. Every story I read out loud, not a single one was recognizable. So I went back on, I gave my, the book to my daughter, I went back online, I'm doing the searching, I can't find it anywhere. Then I loaded up iBooks, and oh man, I couldn't find it in iBooks. It, oh, speaking of iBooks, this is my new terrible distraction. Look at all of these books that I've been downloading. And never mind that, there's also the Borders e-reader, and then the Barnes & Noble e-reader, and the Kindle, and Stanza. Oh, it's a cornucopia of distraction. Anyway, back to my story. I was trying to find it electronically. I went online. I was searching for it. I finally went back to the original website to see if they had any more information about the story. And I was just reading you know, something about the Snow Queen. And, well, I just couldn't find where the heck it was. And my daughter's like, oh, Daddy, here it is. You see, she had picked up the book and thumbed through the book, you know, with your fingers and I hear people still do that I, I wasn't aware so she flipped through it she found it and she showed it to me there I was so focused on finding the electronic solution and my daughter schooled me old school I thought that was pretty funny well that's it for my story today and I'm hoping that you have enjoyed these videos uh, I sometimes feel a bit uncomfortable in front of the camera so I hope that that didn't translate across to you. Uh, it's been fun and uh, I have enjoyed interacting with some of you at Healthy Place. Leave a comment below or on healthyplace.com. I have another week that I will be responding to comments on my site. And after that, I will be moving on. I'm working on my own novel and uh, I need to focus in on that. If you haven't had a chance yet, read my last blog. I talk a lot about too many irons in the fire. It's, uh, it's probably one of my better pieces. So I hope you enjoy reading it. Thank you again and take care.